More and more people become concerned for their health. We are looking into the effect that fear can have on all of us. It's the very reason why you can't find any toilet paper or paper towels in the store right now. Our Jamie Perez looked into this issue. And Jamie, we could all use some advice about how to stay calm during this very stressful time. A lot of people are very scared. Well, I think the most important thing here is to just not let fear take over your life. Is this something to be concerned about? Yes, especially when people are scared because they can't find the things that they need on the shelves in places like Target. And it seems like all of these things are being canceled. But I think the most important thing here is to not let that overwhelm our lives. We still need to move on and we really just need to get through this for the sake of all of our health. Now, one of the reasons why fear is so widespread right now is because there's so much uncertainty and so many unknowns and fear is the natural reaction to that. We spoke today with the CEO of the Healthy Minds LLC here in Madison. He says people are being told to stay calm, but then feel that they can't when they see all of these things that are happening around them. When fear takes over, it causes us to act on it and try to control it. And that's exactly why every store is selling out of the things that people feel they can have some control over. Fear um, related to uncertainty will put people into a frame of mind and a, a state of behaving to try and regain some sense of control over a situation that they feel they have no control over. So how do we stay in balance? Well, one thing is stop reading misinformation. If you have a question about COVID-19, go to a credible source like Public Health or the CDC. Those are your go-to people for this, as well as us. We've been interviewing doctors and medical experts who are telling you exactly what you can do to prepare to prevent this, how to stay calm amidst something that's bringing a lot of fear to people. You know, the more misinformation that you read, the more fuel it adds to that fear. Mm -hmm. Very good advice. Jamie Perez reporting live. Jamie, thank you.